what up KX crew? Today we're going to be opening this package that I got in the mail for my virtual challenge or the Conqueror. I'm not sure what their company goes by, but I found out about them in a Facebook ad. So kind of funny. I've only ever found Facebook ads to be annoying. So it's pretty rare that they turn out helpful. So it was a 90 mile cardio challenge and 90 miles is roughly the same length as Hadrian's wall. 90 miles in kilometers is Hey Google, how many kilometers is 90 miles? 90 miles is 144.841 kilometers. So yeah, that many kilometers. I'm Canadian, I, I, should, I should have put in the Canadian unit of measurement. Too late for that, 90 miles sounds better. <laughs> anyway, 90 miles was roughly the same length as Hadrian's Wall. Hadrian was an emperor, a Roman emperor, and he had a very difficult task of keeping barbarians and foreign thugs away from the glorious Roman Empire. The Roman Empire was very large at this time, so invaders were just coming from all angles, and this was a very difficult spot of land that he had to work with. So what he did was he built a giant wall from coast to coast, and uh, still known as Hadrian's Wall. So to do the challenge, you download the app. In the app, you track how far you've gone every day. Like you log all your different distances, you log what type of cardio it is so that it kind of uh, balances it out so the challenge is appropriate. So if you're doing the cardio challenge on a bike, I'm not sure how it works, but they're supposed to make it more difficult. <laughs> or make the distance farther, I'm not sure. But uh, I did all mine on foot. I was just doing walking cardio. And it was so good for me at the time because I had hernia surgery on my stomach. So pretty major surgery. I couldn't really do anything. I had to stop working out completely. And, and when I started to recover, the only thing that I could do was all what I would probably have just done is not do anything and just probably kick back and rest and recover. I don't know why I air quoted, those are two really important things. And this challenge kept me active. It kept me, it gave me a reason, an incentive to go out every single day and go for walks. I loved it, my dog loved it, it was great. And the really cool thing about the app is that Hadrian's Wall actually has a trail. Like it has a, a marked track that you can walk on if you're ambitious and you want to fly out there to the glorious UK and walk the trail yourself. Uh, some people do that and this this uh, app included like Google Maps in the app and you could kind of drop your little guy wherever you were on the map and you could see visually or virtually where you are. So every once in a while, you know, I would log where I ended up, drag the little yellow guy on it and then I would look around right with my phone and see where I was standing on the Hadrian's Wall Trail. So I can't exactly fly to London right now and do this trail, but it kind of immerses you in what the surroundings look like in a way that I probably would never do, which is really cool. So they have lots of other challenges. If you want to go look up all the different challenges, you can do that. Today I'm just talking about the Hadrian's Wall Challenge. It's one of the longer challenges that they have. Not the longest, but it's one of the longer ones. So you just pay like roughly $25 and then you get skin in the game, right? Now you're invested financially, right? And that, and that usually is a good motivator for most people to get out there and do things, like getting a gym membership, right? So you invest this money, you do the challenge, and once you've completed the challenge, they send you this. That's what I just really love about this challenge is that it's, it's anyone can do it anywhere, right? You don't have to be in a neighborhood where you have access to great treadmills or great gym equipment. You don't need any equipment. You just need to have two feet and you can log your distance right like i just wanted to google maps saw how far i walked and then just plug that number into the yeah easy anybody can do it and you can do it for free too you don't even need to invest any money there's 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 free challenges that anybody can do and i would recommend it like just if you have trouble staying motivated to be active or go for walks if you hate going for walks anyway that's about it for the app um once you complete the challenge they send you a medal, right? That's basically where your money is going. I kind of like it. Little nifty packaging, shiny words. <laughs> I, sound, I sound like a, a six-year-old. Ooh, shiny. Virtually anything is possible. So we open it up and we have the medal here. It's a, uh, if you can hear that, solid metal. Bunch of other info here, but I'm not worried about that right now. I'm worried about my metal. It's kind of nice knowing that if you complete the challenge that something was coming, you know, other than just a green check mark at the end of the challenge, like knowing that there's an award in it for you, obviously that's incentive, right? Okay. Here's the medal. Pretty nice ribbon. It's got that same uh, motto on it, virtually anything is possible. Obviously a play on words because it's a virtual challenge. You virtually see where you are on your challenge. The sun shines through the clouds right as I open the metal. 
And there we have it. Whew. There's the metal. It's nice, right? Something you could potentially hang up on your wall or something like that. I don't know. I don't know if you're into medals, if you're into trophies. It's just kind of satisfying. So the time frame is whatever you want it to be. I made my challenge timeline 90 days because I thought 90 miles, 90 days, it sounded good. But I didn't include any kind of cardio that, you know, if I was really active at work that day, if I just had to, you know, go do a little errand somewhere, like I didn't include all those little things because everyone does lots of walking every day. Well, a lot of people do. I was only including extra cardio, cardio that I did on the side, cardio that I had to make time for and do a designated walking route. I didn't include anything else. So yeah, I completed the challenge. I actually got it done in less than 90 days and 90 miles, I don't know. 90 miles, 90 days, it doesn't sound like that much, but if you think about it, that's a mile a day. If you can commit to a mile a day, you complete the challenge, basically. But it's not as easy as it sounds because things can get busy and you can run out of time and, and you don't, if you don't do a mile a day, you're obviously having to make up for it in other days. And if you go a four day stretch where you're not walking, now you're four miles behind. You can see where this whole thing can snowball. So if 90 days isn't your speed, you could do 120 days, you could do four months, whatever you want it to do, as long as it's a challenge for you, right? That's all that matters is that you're getting yourself out there and staying active. And it really doesn't matter the medal or the challenge that you're doing. It's just motivating yourself and incentivizing yourself to do something that you don't want to do, to leave your comfort zone, most importantly, to stay healthy. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys liked it. Check out the challenge if you're interested. I'll leave a link for it in the description. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider it. You might like the videos that I post. Class next out.